Hey guys, this is Hell Hades free to play. Guys, we've got challenge day. Challenge Hell Hades day. Uh, one thing that I've not been able to do yet is complete a Doom Tower rotation, and we are on stage 120, Dark Fay. Over the last, uh, I don't know, maybe like week or so, we've had the champion training event. I think it was a tournament or whatever. Yeah, champion training tournament. So I've managed to get two more six stars on the account in that time. I got myself Skin Foss, and I got myself High Cartoon. You've probably seen, if you've been watching my series around the free-to-play, my shard pool luck has been dire, okay? It's been pretty damn sad. So what I'm having to do is just work with the champions I've got, which is fine. Yeah, so we end up leveling out to 60 at High Cartoon. She's a really, really good champion. I took Skin Fost, who I think is one of the most underrated epics out there, to 60 as well, to, to level 6 as well, because he's just got so much turn to control going on. And I've already got my kind of squad of some damage dealers and some other champs as well. So these ones don't particularly help me with clan boss as it is right now, but they do help me with boss fights. So I'm hoping that with these two new additions on the roster, we can take on Dark Fae 120 normal and potentially start to move on to Hard Doom Tower as well with the rest of the team that I've got. So, what we're going to be doing here is a bit of a regear. Cool thing, I'm trying to marry this stuff up. So we've got an artifact enhancement event. You can see I've got quite a lot of silver. Probably the most silver I've ever had on the free-to-play. And uh, that's because I've been doing tons of campaign. That's how I got my six stars done. Loads of campaign, not really focused anywhere else. It means you start to get your silver reserves back up. So yeah, we've got a good amount of silver. High Katoon needs to now be fast. Skin Foss. It's probably not in a bad build already, honestly. Good speed, little bit shy of 100% crit rate. I need him to be 100%, uh, and he's got some accuracy. He just kind of lacks defensive stats at the moment, so I feel like this build is not far off where I want it to be. Thing is, when you're going crit rate on your gloves and HP on the chest, it's quite hard when he's got such a low base. Saying that, I probably could just, for the sake of today, do something I don't like to do. How many brews is that? Ah, oh, it's all my brews. It doesn't even max him out. Oh, that feels rough. We're doing it for the video. We're doing it for the free-to-play series. The extra stats here make quite a difference, but he does have low base stats. That's a, a real problem with Skinfoss is he doesn't have good base stats in terms of survivability. So you kind of have to be bringing things like defense rings, things like HP amulets, defense amulets to keep him alive in case he does take a knock. I would love an accuracy banner, but I just cannot find one. So I guess we're just going to grab something which gives me some speed on it. It's going to be a resistance banner, and we're just going to live with it for now. I'm going to take this up as well. Just going to splurge the silver today. I'm on a splurgy type of mood. And I feel like his build is not far off where I need it to be. So Stimfoss is looking pretty healthy. Hikatoon definitely needs a change up. I need her just to be quick for the Dark Fae fight. We've then got people like Stagnite already quick for my, for my clan boss team. So we're going to be going, I think, High Cartoon speed up the team so that I beat my counter team. Stagnite bring the drop defense and then somebody run in there with a nuke. Probably my Ronda. And then Skimfoss start doing your turn meter control on the boss. That's my, that's my thinking on it. Uh, I guess we'll see if it plays out that way or not. Right, so we're just going to try and optimize uh, a new high cartoon build. I'm even wondering, do I even need Stagnite in this team? So his decrease speed A1 is good, but Stimfoss is going to give me that anyway. So perhaps Stagnite isn't as important as I thought he might have been. Albeit, drop defense and attack, in case I do take a hit, it's good. And drop defense is good because we're going to do more damage. So maybe, we'll see. We'll see. But what I can do here, so I can lock out. See, I've locked... All of the champions that were in my clan boss team. Uh, if you want to turn lock-in on, you go into a little hamburger menu, account settings, and just put enable advanced lock-ins. Really important, actually, because it means I'm not going to steal gear from these champions, which are already doing a job. So I've locked my clan boss team with a lock five. I've then locked my other champions that are important to me with a lock four. And we're going to go in and do the high cartoon build. All I want to do here is go into balance mode. Because balance mode is where I'm going to pick a particular stat and just say, just reset this off actually, because I might have used a different build on her before. Balance mode. And then I'm going to say, give me speed, please, game. 
Give me speed optimizer. Uh, I would like maybe 150 accuracy, which might make this more difficult to do. And then after that, just give me survivability. So let's see what it gives me here. What sort of speed can I get to without stealing gear off anyone else whilst getting the accuracy? And one thing to be aware of, let's just see if I've got an accuracy banner for her. Because it might be that I do. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, look. A nice one with a bit of speed on it as well. So what I'm going to do is just take that up to 12. Because this will make it quite a big difference, actually. Take that up to 12. So I'm going to gain nine more speed here than what we're seeing. Because at the moment, we're not, we're not grabbing a banner. So I can, I can gain another nine speed minimum. I guess if I, if I also put a glyph on it, 10 or 11 speed. So I'm going to be looking at about 226 in this build without stealing off of important people. Interestingly, if I just said I would like to include, basically include gear that's on lock champions. Yeah, if I just said just, just include gear, I wonder what sort of speed I'd get to then. 228, I'd get 230 plus, I would gain the extra speed from the banner. So around 240 speed. The other thing I just realized as well is that she also gains another seven speed. I'm at 97 speed here. She goes to 104 when she's six star ascended. So I'm definitely going to six star her, get that banner on as well. Because then we're talking about going up you know, way above 240 odd speed. Okay, let me give you a handy tip for Dark Fey. When you're fighting your opposition, your, your kind of like clones, you need to treat it like an arena fight. Okay, so you can actually grab the Deadwood calculator here from Deadwood. Uh, jedi.com really good tool basically what you do is you pump in the speeds that you've got so i've managed to build out my hiker tune in weird and wonderful sets but 243 speed from my hiker tune that's because i managed to get a six star ascended we got that banner on her she gained speed when she six star ascended anyway and then i use the optimizer for that speed so but 243 what it then tells me is the speeds the rest of my team need to be after she does her speed boost these are the speeds i need to stop being cut in in the arena okay now in effect my clones are my arena team yeah they're my they're my opposite arena so i need to make sure that my stag's at least 202 and then whoever my nuke is going to be is at least 200 speed to make sure that i don't get cut in by my enemy high cartoon okay so what i've done is i've built out my stag was already built he's good to go in terms of his clan boss setup, and he's running at 240 odd speed. So that's fine. He's just slower than High Cartoon. I thought I might then need to bring in control because I didn't think I'd have a Nucus fast enough to do the job. So Cornelia could be an option if I don't get the work done, but my Cornelia is built quite tanky. You don't want to fight a tanky opposition against Dark Fey because ultimately you've got to try and kill yourself. Yeah, so you, your opposition needs to be quite squishy. So what I've done is I've just sped up a little bit my Elaine, who's currently in destroyed gear. She helps me against the Scarab boss. She's running now at 202 speed, so that I'm hoping that her nuke kills my enemy clones. And then straight after that, or it's actually going to be before, I need to slow Skimpos down a touch. So straight after El Elaine goes, I then want Skimpos to go and steal all of the Dark Phase turn meter. So I actually need to just slow him down such a small amount. 202. He's at 205. Or can I speed her up? See, currently she's in pretty much like weird and wonderful gear. But the destroy set's important. I guess what I could do is just take her out of destroy gear for now. Because I don't need her in that all the time. I just need her in it for, for, this, uh, for the Scaraboss fight. So I can switch her back over. When I need to. Let's just speed her up again. Okay. So Elaine comes in. I, I could actually just throw in lifesteal gear. The more I'm thinking about it, the more I should just change the build. But let's see if this works. She's sped up. Skimfoss then comes in and starts to wreck the boss. And Ronda's going to be in the team for damage as well. Let's see how this goes. We have to do a bit of a setup for it. This is literally, you're watching first run. And I, I want to leave in any fails. Just so you can get a feel for what I'm thinking about when I'm setting this type of team up it might help you with the type of champions that you've got available so we're going to do this 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 and this and then skim fost here so two of my new 60s i'm hoping are going to be the answer 
what we want to do is we want to hold the main abilities for round three for the boss fight so we're gonna do it in this order now high cartoon's also got a bit of a turn meter drop on her a3 which is helpful for this fight and she's got a decreased speed this is why i want the accuracy so she's actually really useful all round just gonna stop her using the a2 anywhere else i think just just think we hold it stag knight it's on a three turn i think we can use it for the opening wave and then don't use it on the second wave that way i can use it straight away for wave three el hain i want to save i think i'm going to save this ability because she's got the extra percentage chance to crit and my crit's not actually quite high enough so oh but then i definitely need to a3 damn i should have just built over 100 percent crit this could be a problem we'll see but i'm basically going to use that on wave three so we're going to make sure we don't use it there should be good so we use it here and then won't use it here okay ronda we're just going to save her a three as well and then we're basically we're going to open with it and then don't use it again yeah so she's good she uses that for the aoe stuff but then i don't want to use it again and then skim foss so skim has got a really interesting kit he's got decreased speed a1 plus a turn meter drop he's got an aoe a2 which puts out decreased attack also like cleans all of the debuffs off of your team as well um trouble is he doesn't actually clean off true fear which is one of the ones we get from dark fate if she attacks that's a little bit annoying um i really would love this to be a booked on a free turn cool now just don't have any books right now but this ability here the steal the turn meter ability is the main one we want for the boss so we're going to use that first choice i'm hoping everyone's already dead by the time he uses this could be could be not we'll see i guess um and then we're going to do i turn this off completely and just keep him i think i turn this off completely for the boss fight so we just want to make sure he doesn't use that here or here then i think we're good to go okay Make sure you label these teams, guys. A lot of times I don't label teams and I'm like, which one was it? Okay, we're going to try it. Let's see how we go. Biggest challenge yet. Are we going to defeat? Dark Fay on the first attempt on 120. The waves actually are not that difficult. So you can... You can kind of allow yourself just to hold main abilities like you've seen I've done there. You see here, we're absolutely wrecking these, this wave. We've not got any problems at all. Hoping that this runs nicely. So let's slow this down and just watch it work. High Katoon, speed us up. We get the turn meter boost over everyone else. Drop defense everywhere. The nuke comes in. We didn't kill everybody. That's a shame because I've now lost my Stimfoss ability on the boss. So now we're under a bit of pressure. What I might need to do is just change the Elhain build a bit uh, a bit more. So speed us up now. We're going to try and kill our clone. Trouble is we now start taking damage and stuff. Okay, we're back on the boss. We've got decreased speed on the boss and we're starting to get our turn meter stuff going on. Decreased attack and defense. Really need the A3 back from Stimfoss here. We don't get it in time now. I think it's his next ability as well. Decreased speed's going to be good. I think we might be through the worst of it, though. I've lost my hiker too, which means I've lost my speed up. I'm not seeing him do his A3, but I might be going crazy. Oh, so it's actually... It's, why is he only doing it on like mobs? Why is he not doing his A3 on the boss? What's going on? Is it just bad, literally bad luck, RNG and time in there? Things like Brimstone are good if the boss is taking turns. I really didn't want this boss to take a turn, but it's definitely not played out that way. And we've got no natural healing in the team, which is a little bit of a nightmare. There we go. There's, that's what I've been looking for for the boss, Skinfoss. Obviously, if he was booked and getting that more regularly, then damn, that would be huge. I think we might fail first attempt, but it's so damn close.
Going to be down below half here. A little bit of turn meter drop. We're keeping decreased speed on pretty well. Yeah, we're dead. Okay, we're dead. But not a bad first attempt. Right, let's change El Hain's build and see if we can go again. Okay, rebuild on Elaine. She's now got... Still fast. She's got 100% crit rate now. Plus, she's got some damage. Let's hope that's going to be enough. She's in this... Um, what's the gear called? Instinct, is it? Instinct gear. So, she's going to ignore some of our defense inbuilt as well. So, hoping... Hoping that she one-shots my team. That's the main thing. If she can one-shot my team, then everything starts to flow through better. Try it one more time. If this doesn't work this time, then I may need to bring in one support unit so that I've got some healing coming in. Someone like a relatively tender could actually come in. in um, I've actually got her in shield set right now, which works. We're actually killing Swave really quick. Did I get my abilities back in time? Speed up. Drop defense. Why is she A1-ing? She didn't get her A3 back in time. We're going to do it anyway. Right, let's reset that. Make sure she doesn't A3 at the start. These are little tweaks you've got to do, guys. That if at first it doesn't succeed, don't cry into your milk. All right, let's just make sure she doesn't use that. Don't use that. Don't use that. Use that. Okay. Take three. Come on. So close. Because she done more damage, actually. She, we just got through these waves a lot quicker. Come on. One by one, they drop. So obviously, we don't want to take too much damage, but we don't... Even if we take a little bit of damage like this, it heals back up for the next wave. Slow it down. Speed us up. Drop defense. Bring the nuke town. Take a rest. Okay, good. Still turn meter. It's happened. A little bit more turn meter drop. Decrease speed is on. We're not going to keep turn meter down 100%. Okay, so that's just not going to happen with this team. But as long as we're keeping it down to a decent amount and we're keeping decreased speed on, I think we've still got a really good chance here. Really wish I had Skinfoss booked. It would make such a difference for us. Decrease speeds now on for a three turn. We're getting the brimstone damage away as well. There's that turn meter steal. Good job, Skinfoss. Obviously, he gets the turn meter back himself because he's stealing it, which means that he cycled through his abilities quicker. Another brimstone on. I don't think we've got any main abilities landing right now. Little turn meter drops from High Cartoon. You can't. Um, don't. Don't. Oh, like underestimate how good that is i think his next turn is going to be another turn me to drop this is looking much better there's that turn me to steal again straight back into his a1 another turn me to drop come on guys come on decrease speed is still on just over a quarter health here. We are starting to lose a bit of health ourselves. And we've got Leech on us, which is not nice. So she's healing when we've got Leech on us. Come on. Bit of nukage. Speed us up. That's good. Brimstone hits. We've just done the ability on, on our clone instead of her. But I think we might be over the line. We were ignoring the clone because... <laughs> Because she's low, but still it was enough. Brimstone takes it over the line. Two minutes 25. The cool thing here is this is one of the best farmable gear sets for me as a free to play to go after. So, okay, I've done it a little bit late. Arbiter's like that. Yeah, well done, Hell Hades. I can't believe you did it. Good job. Cool thing now is I can just go after this set for the rest of this, this week. Well, I've got a week and four days. And I'm just going to be farming this as much as I can. It's the equivalent of me farming probably stage 20 finite. Yeah, and trying to get savage gear. That's what, that's what it's like. So I'm going to be all over this now. Trying to get myself some extra lethal gear. And, you know, the other thing that's good for is any sort of forging makes you silver. Any sort of forging good for Clan v Clan 
uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of benefits around it as well. So I'm really pleased. Free to play's beaten the first uh, Doom Tower, probably the hardest Doom Tower, um, like group, I would say. Do you think? Is this the hardest Doom Tower? I think so. Anyway, I've been Hell Hades. I'll see you later.